Adventures, episode 5, season 2, episode 15 in my whole series, Fuel Wins It All. One day on the island of Solar, Gordon was drinking some water from the standpipe when James came over. He didn't whistle or anything. He just came over to tease Gordon. Ah, oh, yes, Gordon. Don't drink that water or else you'll get boilery, just like Henry. Ha, 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 ha. James, as he puffed away. Oh, you're indignity, said Gordon. Then Rosie came. Just like James, Rosie did not whistle at all. She just came to tease. Yeah, Gordon, you'll develop into another engine and turn into a black five, laughed Rosie as she puffed away. Oh, the indignity, said Gordon, said again. Go on, Gordon. So this driver, as Gordon puffed away, did we finish filling up? Asked Gordon. Is the water, you know? Um, no. The water is bad. Really? Asked Gordon as he came to the station. Yes, we'll have to deal with the bad water for today. All right, growled Gordon, groaned Gordon. Gordon was already grumpy, but Thomas was taking a long time to bring his express coaches. Come on, little Thomas, us big engines can't wait, said Gordon. I am coming, I'm coming, said Thomas, but Gordon wished Thomas so hard that Thomas started to go side to side and he fell down. Oh, look at what you've done now, said Gordon. I've not done anything. You pushed me off the tracks. Now it'll take me a lot of time to give you the coach. A lot of time? You'll never give me the coach, said Gordon. So one of the times I have to go against dignity, said Gordon, as he rolled in front of Thomas. Soon, Gordon pulled Thomas and the coach back onto the rails and he shunted them and went back on to the platform. Oh no you don't, said Thomas as he quickly puffed off. Oh, I really wanted to pull you along that viaduct again, said Gordon laughing like crazy. Then Sir Topham Hat came over. Gordon, is it true of what you did with Thomas? Yes sir, sorry sir, said Gordon. It's all right, but why do you do it? I'm just grumpy and um, I've been just thinking about something. What? Devious Diesel told me something. What did he say? Is it true, sir? Well, what did he say? He said that um, he and his fellow mates on the other railway take Stevies and they push them off the viaduct bridges or just crack them. Yes, Gordon, it is true. What? But it won't happen on my railway. Thank you, sir, said Gordon, puffing away, feeling a little bit better. Soon Gordon rolled over to the China clay pits. But he was so tired, he actually slowed down and started to sleep. Spam can the diesel was in the shed, so he decided to wake Gordon up. Come on, wake up, lazy bones! Oh, oh, oh! All right, it's been a busy day, you know. Or maybe you might not know. You're lazy. You're just sitting there. I don't have any work to do right now. Anyways, aren't you a mainland diesel? Did you not hear? Vikas town is becoming a part of the mainland. It's an extinction project. What? Said Gordon. Really? Yes, us diesels are really taking over. Just that, why are there less diesels than steamies? Oh, just our controller knows stuff. Indeed, he does not know, said 
the diesel. Humph, said Warden as he rolled away to the, the express. What spam kind of thing is utter tish tosh, said Gordon to the driver. Not all of this is um, utter tish tosh, Gordon. Really? Actually, most of the things he said is true. Oh, indignity, said Gordon. Oh, you really have to stop that habit, Gordon. It's getting annoying. Oh, please stop that habit, driver, said Gordon. Once... All the passengers stepped out. The guard blew his whistle. And Gordon started to reverse back. It was an empty coach. So Gordon could go backwards with it. He didn't have to go around the turntable. But this time, there was something wrong. The brakes were very loose. So they were broken. So when Gordon, the driver, told the guard to apply the brakes, they didn't. So they flew down the railing at the bottom. I told you a crash would happen, said the spam can, rolling around. He backed up. Luckily, your coach isn't that much derailed, he said. Now I can rescue your coach. I'll have to go to the other railway to get cranes. The spam can. But the coach's brake was now too tight. The spam can wheel spun so much, he flew up on the bridge and fell right down into the canal. Look who's derailed now, laughed Gordon. We're both derailed now, okay? Said Spamcan. I guess you're right, said Gordon. Wonder who will come and save us now, said Gordon again. Then they heard a horn. <laughs> you should be glad that when I came around. Oh, look. It's the original Diesel. Diesel. Oh, yes. Our names are so original. You and me, my mates. Diesel. Dan. Davis. Diesel. The Works. Diesel. Diesel 101. Diesel 7101. Diesel 102. The Works. Diesel. Oh, be quiet. Said Gordon. Yes, I am among of those diesels as D199, but that is just annoying. You should be happy we're frenemies. Yes, said Gordon. All right. Well, don't expect me to save you, said Diesel. It's all right, said Spamcan. Yes, said Gordon. They both laughed, and now. They were not friends, not enemies, but they were now frenemies. <laughs>